Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement so the first message that we have here is wow we have you're not innocent oh wow okay so what I'm picking up with this energy is that a lot of the times um, the Divine Feminine can be under the impression that the Divine Masculine is unfazed by everything that's going on here. That they are not as affected as you are within this connection with these changes and just the different stages of this, you know, higher love here. But I feel like your person wants you to know that, you know, you're not innocent in all of this. They are as affected as you are. They feel the different stages, they feel the pulls, they feel the magnetic um, pull towards you, they get the telepathic messages, okay? They're literally consumed with you just as much as you are consumed with them here, okay? And I'm feeling like your person wants you to know that it's literally like you are the person that ignited their soul here. You are the person that changed their lives. So while you may be in a place where you feel as if you're waiting for your person or you feel as if, you know, your person is in this position where they have to make the move or they have to initiate here. It's almost as if on their end, it's almost as if they wish that you can kind of get a peek into their world here to see what it actually feels like to be living your life, to be going down a specific path. And then one day you just meet this person and your entire life changes. And you have to figure out how to navigate that, how to fit that into your world, okay? How to make something that is so otherworldly and so dreamlike, okay? Make it come down to earth and make it real and make it your reality here. So it's almost as if your person wants you to see um, a peek into their world. They would like you to take a walk into their shoes to see how it felt to meet someone like you. It's almost as if your person wants you to know like how amazing you are and how much they love you and how much your love has actually changed them, okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow, we have my heart is opening. So there's definitely progress that's being made here. There are definitely positive dynamic shifts that are happening okay behind the scenes maybe some of you can see this okay maybe some of you have witnesses you've heard from your person you've seen these changes that are being made here but i feel an extremely light energy here okay coming from your person and they want you to know that their heart is expanding their heart is opening here i'm also picking up that you know, in the beginning of your connection, your person may have been extremely blocked, okay? Their heart space was extremely blocked upon coming in contact with them here. And the most triggering part about that was when these emotions and all of these past wounds and these past hurts start to surface within your person here, it really triggered them. It triggered them so bad that they would run away from the connection here, that they would do this hot and cold thing with you here, where they would kind of be consumed with you and want to fall into you. And then something would raise up and your person would just have this adverse effect and do the total opposite, okay? And it would literally drive you crazy here, okay? But I'm also picking up that your person is coming to the awareness now that a lot of these parts, a lot of these things that were triggering them and that were acting as a barrier to your connection was actually making themselves known because they were in front of, they were in the company of their true divine partner here. They're realizing that in past relationships, they were able to get by stuffing these parts of themselves down. It's almost as if when they came in contact with you, everything started to rise to the surface because you were the safe place. You were the place that they actually felt comfortable enough to heal. 
you know, there's there's places within their heart, within the depths of their soul that literally only you have access to. And while this may have been triggering to your person in the past, they're actually really, really in a place where they're appreciative, okay? And their heart is actually opening and they're actually loving the fact that this relationship, this connection had the power to kind of heal them from the inside out here. Their energy feels lighter. So as they learn how to navigate these emotions instead of running from them, okay, they're realizing that this is really, really helping them become their best version here. And it's, it's like the energy that I'm, I'm getting is like a really appreciative energy here. Um, recognizing their faults, recognizing how this may have showed up um, in the past, recognizing how you may have viewed them in the past, uh, maybe in a not so good light here. But I'm also getting that um, they want you to know that their heart is opening here and it's because of you. It's because you literally were their safe space in human form, okay? This is so beautiful. I feel like this message is gonna be extremely just lighthearted and just beautiful, okay? The next message that we have here is, I was trying to protect you. Wow, I just got from myself. Wow. So I feel like if you've been in a situation to where you're trying to figure out why there's been so many mixed signals, you were trying to read your person's energy, maybe figure out why they were running from the connection, why you experienced periods of time where they were extremely open and extremely loving, and then it's almost like a switch would go off and your person would just become totally different here. I feel like your person was trying to protect you, okay, from their dark side here. It's like they didn't want you to see those parts of them, the ugly parts of them. And instead of them, you know, saying something or doing something that you would deem to be totally out of their character. <clears throat> I'm saying that your person would literally just run okay maybe they would ghost you maybe they would you know start to pull back a little bit in the conversation here but there was a drastic change in their relationship a drastic change in the relationship a drastic change in the communication here and i'm seeing that your person wants you to know that they did this because they were trying to actually protect you from themselves here so yeah, there's a lot of miscommunication here. I feel like your person is actually at a place where they're able to identify their emotions and really able to look at what they were feeling versus what they were actually doing and how this showed up in your connection here and how this actually played a major part in the delays and in the current status here that you may be in today, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have read between the lines. Hmm. I just got, you know my heart. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, there's something about the communication here. Um, it's almost as if your person is asking you in this reading, okay, to know their heart. It's almost as if you're the only person who has access to them in this way here. And they showed it to you here. I'm getting that how your person opened up to you and the parts of themselves that they showed to you, maybe the conversations that you had, some of them let you in on their path and, you know, certain things that you spoke about. They spoke about a lot of things with you in confidence. I'm getting that they're not this open with anyone else. And Divine Feminine, you may be feeling like, wow, well, uh, you know, I really didn't think that they were that open with me here. But I'm getting that someone was extremely closed off here. But the pieces that they showed you, the, the, the parts of them that they showed you 
we're really, really raw and real. And it's, it's almost as if your person is saying like, you know my heart, you know the things that we spoke about, you know the conversations that we had. I'm even getting something about eye contact right here. Like a really serious, intense kind of conversation. This could have even been nonverbal, okay? But your person is almost saying like, you know me. Read between the lines, you know? If I get in a position where I'm not able to express myself, um, that doesn't mean that it has anything to do with you here. I feel like there's a lot of divine feminines that may base your person's actions on how they feel about you or you you think that that's a reflection of you or something that you did here and i feel like your person wants you to kind of not do that here okay yeah so there's definitely a lot of miscommunication coming from your person here but i'm also getting that maybe they didn't have the words to actually explain to you what it was that they were feeling. Maybe they didn't know how to process this. I'm getting that this connection here, okay, is actually teaching them a lot, actually helping them heal in real time, okay? So you may be a little bit more advanced than your person here, but I'm feeling like this is actually getting them to open up. This is actually getting them to see themselves but it's in a very melodic kind of way, okay? It's happening in real time. So I'm getting a lot of trial and error, okay? A lot of, you know, your person realizing, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And it's like when they approach you the next time, they come to you in, in a better light, okay? They come to you with lighter energy. Maybe when your person gets triggered and, you know, you have time away, your person is actually spending the time to heal themselves. And they come to you lighter with their hearts more open, more ready to give and receive love, okay? So yeah, I feel like the person is saying like, you know, you know me, you know my heart, you know the intimate talks that we've had, you know, you know the passion that we've exchanged with one another here. So even when I may not have the words to express this to you, those are the moments where I need you to tap into my heart space because you're the person who has access to that. You know how to read me, okay? You know exactly what I want to say. I don't even have to open my mouth. You can feel my energy, okay? So it's like your person really, really wants you to know that, you know, you have this access. And when they're not able to communicate with you or they're not able to tell you what it is or tell you where it hurts, they want you to be able to tap into that space here because it's for you. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, we're in this together, remember? Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like this reading is just your person reminding you that when blockages happen within the connection here, whether it's on the Divine Masculine's end or the Divine Feminine's end, you both are teammates, okay? So your person is looking at it from the perspective of whatever challenge or blockage that stands in between me and you, we're supposed to attack this together, it's not an opportunity for us to be against one another or to ever feel as if, you know, you're on this side, I'm on this side. No, it's you and your divine masculine against the problem, not you and your divine masculine against each other here. Wow, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Your person wants you to know that, like, they know exactly who you are. They want to know, do you know who you are to them? Okay. They want you to know that you have this access to them here. So even when they're not able to openly communicate, even when they just need you to hold space, when words just won't do it, because sometimes words just don't do it. You can't communicate what you're going through or what's hurting or, you know, how life is um, affecting you in a certain kind of way here. It's almost as if your person is saying, you know my heart, you have this access. 
okay? You're the only person who's able to enter me, who's able to extract this information from my heart space here. I give you permission to do that when you need to, okay? Wow. Let's get the last message here. Wow, this is beautiful. We have thank happy thoughts. Yeah. I feel like overall, your person doesn't want you. They don't want you to worry, okay? They don't want you to worry. They don't want you to be concerned about the ebbs and flow of life, the ups and downs of this relationship here. When you think about them, it's important to them that you think happy thoughts. It's important to them that your vibration is high, that you're happy, that you're healthy, that you're laughing. Like when they think about you, they think about this high vibrational, nurturing, loving being, okay? Like if you could only see you through your divine masculine's eyes, you know what I mean? They just think that you're so powerful, you're so beautiful, you're so abundant here. So it's like they want your energy to be high, you know, they want your energy to be light, they want you to think happy thoughts, they want your vibration to always be high, okay? Yeah, your person is really, really at a place where they really want you to know the place that you hold in their, in their lives here. This is like a really, really big deal, okay? It's a really, really big deal to them because I don't feel like they've ever allowed anyone to have this much access to them in this way. This is very intimate. This is very spiritual, okay? And they want you to realize that your thoughts become things, Divine Feminine. You're extremely powerful, okay? Extremely magnetic. You have the ability to bring to you whatever it is that you're thinking about. So if you're thinking about your divine masculine in a negative way, or if you're thinking about um, the delays or anything like that, it worries your person because they know that you have the ability, thoughts create things here. So it's very important to them that you're happy, that you're healthy, that you're smiling, okay? Because when they think of you, that's what they think about. That's how they view you. And they, they don't ever want you to be, you know, unhappy or sad or anything, especially with them being the cause of it. Because most of the things that they go through in this in this um, connection here, it doesn't have anything to do with you, Divine Feminine. It's them navigating their own lives, their own hurts, their own pains here. And your person wants you to know that that doesn't have anything to do with you here. Okay, so sometimes they just need you to hold space here. And I feel like that's what this reading is talking about here. But yeah, there's a lot of love here. Your person's heart is definitely expanding. Okay, they want you to remember that you are a team. Okay, they love you and you're in this together. Wow, that's beautiful. So that's the message that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.